Es wurde in vielen anderen Gegenden. We are not going to eat anymore. We are not going to eat anymore. If you don't allow our people to eat, we too we are not eating. From now onwards, we are not eating. We are not eating. We are here. We are snuffing here. We we are not going anymore. We are here until we get our demands. We decided to go on hunger strike right now. We are on hunger strike. Something that is all we have to get. I mean, because we are still not far. It's also from Germany. We are asylum seekers here. We decided to go on hunger strike. Decided right now to go on hunger strike because our people are denied the right to eat. We are not going here to move from here. I'm, I'm Mahdi, I'm from Sudan, and I'm, um, I lived in Oranian Plaza where the refugees strike was taking place uh, for almost for two years. And the place has been uh, evicted yesterday by the police and some people who got paid by the police or by the politician, no one knows, but we, we, are, we are completely sure that they got paid to destroy the place. And now some of so some of us are making hunger strike on a tree in the place. And since, yes, since yesterday they, they didn't eat anything, they didn't drink anything. Because the police said that they are not entitled to eat. We want to bring water, we want to bring tea, we want to bring uh, something to eat to them. But the police said if they wanted to eat, so they have to come down out of the tree. They refused them to eat. They decided to, eat, to just to send us away. We spend the night here without our friends eating. Yeah, and now we are making hunger strike uh, with our friends in, on the other side of Oranian Plaza where the, where the strike is taking place. And we will be here until we get Oranian Plaza back. I'm Patras Vance from Uganda. And uh, I am here in Germany since 2010, August. Uh, I came seeking for peace and freedom. That's why I became a refugee here. We are here! We will fight! Freedom! They were fighting until the last period to, to, to keep their tents because all of them they used to live here in Oranian Plaza and they have their own tent and they consider it as a house. As yeah. they have. If, you, if you have a big house and you have a tree in the house and you lost your house because of water flood or something like that. So the tree is as like your house. So it's part of your house, it's part of your memory. Uh, in Africa we... If we are there, we think in Europe there is really real democracy. Or other people in the world, they think in Europe or in America, if we hear America, America, if we hear Germany, German, we think oh, everything is okay in Germany. No more eating! If our people they are not allowed to eat, no more eating, we too. We are not going to eat. Let us die! Already we are dead. Alas! It's uh, not unrealistic to treat people, human beings, like animals. Even animals here, uh, most especially the dogs here, they have the first class uh, priority. Why police doesn't let these people stay again in a, in Oranian Platz? Uh, because we we made so much pressure on the government since, since two years. We are demonstrating almost every day in front of the German institution. We are exposing what the German government are doing. 
with the refugees in Germany, we are we are telling what the, the Deutschland and EU how they how they how they send weapons and they, they make wars in our countries and they let, they let us fight each other in our country in order to control the petroleum and the gas and everything. So we, we have been doing this for two years and forcing us to sign. So that's what they did. They forced people to sign. They called the media there to come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people to sign the paper which they don't understand, which the majority have not agreed on, <laughs> because we didn't understand it. So we signed it forward. What kind of paper we sign? But uh, as the tactic of uh, capitalist divide and rule, they managed to manipulate others. Uh, the resistance uh, to Iranian plots, without the neighbors, without the uh, solidarity, we wouldn't resist and We are not allowed to work. But the most sad thing is, I don't know if you know this, that the refugees in Germany are not allowed to move from city to a city. Yeah, I know. I know. It's, so you are allowed incredible. to move within 40 kilometers. <laughs> if you leave the 40 kilometers, you will have to pay 150 euro wow. as penalty. <laughs> So we are fighting for to close the refugee center. But right we are fighting now, for the free movement. We are fighting for to stop deportation. We are fighting for the work permit. We are fighting for for normal life. So if you sign this paper, then automatically you will have a house. We will find a way how you can get social money. We we shall start mm. uh, working on the workers. Why don't you start? working on our case before you call the media. Mm -hmm. you know, mm. Before you put yourself on the plate, you know, do something. If you mean that you want to find a solution for the protest and you don't want to use force to, uh, uh, to demolish the refugee camp, mm. 